Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video we have a brand new update for the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. This is for the S24 Ultra, S24 Plus, and the regular model. So let's see what's going on here. I'm going to go to my settings, alright? And as you can see, if I scroll all the way down and tap on Software Update, and if I tap on Download and Install, I am seeing a brand new update that is ready to install. Now, you can see right over here, it says that we have device stability improvements and bug fixes, new and or enhanced features, and further improvements to performance. But we are not getting anything specific listed right here. Now if I do scroll down, this is for One UI 6.1. The update ends in AXBG, and the size for this model, the unlocked S24 Ultra, is 420 megabytes and we have the security patch for March the 1st. So I'm gonna tap on install, I'm gonna be right back and see exactly what's going on here. Be right back. All right, so we are right back and you can see the software is now updated. Now real quick, let's see what's going on here. Let's go to the settings real quick. I'm gonna go all the way down, I'm gonna go to about phone. Under about phone, I'm gonna tap on software information and when I scroll all the way down, I can tap this right here, the Android security patch. That's gonna take me to the website. I can scroll down tap on read and then I can click on Samsung and what that is going to do is it's going to give me all the security patches that were applied as part of that March update. So if you scroll down it does look like they have not yet updated the website but when you click this link as you're watching the video this might be up to date and you might see SMR March and then you can scroll down and see the critical high and the moderate security patches that were applied with this update which is great the phone is now more secure now overall the phone also feels just as smooth as before nothing dramatic going on as far as the responsiveness of the phone goes now one more thing that you want to do to make sure you're up to date is you want to scroll down under settings and go to security and privacy. Then you want to go into updates right here and you want to make sure you have the latest Google Play system update. Now sometimes even if you have a check mark it is not up to date so tap on it it's gonna say checking for update and if there is one it's gonna say available and then you download and install. Once you do that you may have to restart. So in this case I'm just gonna cancel for now I want to be right back and get it done in a second but make sure this is done and also make sure to go to the Galaxy Store, okay, Galaxy Store, and then tap on the menu and tap on updates to make sure all your apps are up to date. And also all Samsung system files are up to date. So in my case, I'm all good to go except for this, which is not a big deal for now. So I'm going to exit this. And one more thing I like to do just in case is I like to pinch the screen, tap on the settings, and then go down to the home screen and tap on about home screen and I just want to make sure the latest version of One UI Home is always installed so you get the best One UI Home experience here. Now beyond all those basics I'm not seeing anything new as far as features are concerned. Most likely we have the under the hood improvements that are listed right over here that say device is now more stable, we have some enhanced features but not new features and of course we have further improvements to performance. This is going to be an incremental update with the latest security patch and possibly some low level camera refinements. If you have noticed something new drop a comment down below let me know but that's it for now guys. Any questions drop them down below. Have a fantastic day.